advocacy. Uh, basically, uh, the key component of, of advocacy is are we able to influence policy change? Yes. So it begins with us. Though we know uh, Kisumu County Assembly at times is always wrong. I'm sorry to use that term. But Kisumu County Assembly is always wrong. We know that. In terms of um, legislative agenda, vis-a-vis uh, -vis personal agenda, being fronted. We know that. It's the same question we have of uh, how we're presenting our petitions or memos to the Assembly and how are we interacting with also the executive. The same conversation we are having. How are we now trying to build new conversation? In our today's activity, we focus on discussion around the Ripple Act of 162 that affects the LGBTQ community. How are we mobilizing? Because there are a lot of actors within Kisumu County and the space has been dominated by bigger CSOs who have their way into different engagements. We are also discussing around advocacy work and how uh, we incorporate the advocacy steps in the work we do as uh, partners that have been convened under Talanta Africa. In a nutshell, we just had a discussion around the sexual reproductive health uh, as a queer person. So we are looking at Oripil 162. You know that the community outside doesn't understand what Oripil 162 it entails. So we just had a roughly discussion on how that repeal will help us as a community and it will bring change toward us as a community members. Uh, one of the things that we've done as uh, CSO yes. is to identify who are not the likes. Yes. So one of them is the county speaker. Yes. Uh, we have uh, MOH behind yes. our bank. Uh, the next thing that we are doing is now reaching to other players. Uh, we have several CSOs that are here towards the same thing. Yes, yes. Uh, just like uh, someone mentioned here earlier, can we put our synergies together? Yes. So that as we confront that, we are able to speak one language. Because I said uh, when we began in 2016, it was not a walk in the park. Yes. Uh, where we are today, we can comfortably walk into a chief's baraza and talk about LGBTI issues comfortably. What came out specifically was about community organizing, how the queer community can organize um, in a way to ensure that uh, they speak the same language, they use the same energy, they address the same challenges that affect them. For us to win in anything that we are doing in the LGBTI community, we need to occupy those spaces that have not been occupied. And at the same time, occupying those spaces does not really mean that we are going to infringe into other people's rights. We also have to respect their rights, as well as we also need our rights to be, to be respected. How are we mobilizing? Because there are a lot of actors within Kisumu County. And the space has been dominated by bigger CSOs who have their way into different engagements and um, others are not involved and the same way you want to do advocacy is the same way I'll still ask another question. How many of us participated yesterday during the discussion, people from Kisumu, there was a discussion around the ADP, county ADP, how many of us participated in that exercise? The discussion you're having now of course is very important, How, and I think that is where we can help maybe uh, through Forum Save on how, how uh, a movement or a group can uh, organize itself better. But I don't think we should be advising on this, you know, the content of what you do, because you are the ones who know that. We can support with you so you have the proper organization and you can be effective in your work. But uh, any sustainable change will have to come from within. It cannot come from the outside. It's nice to come together because together it can bring a lot of impactful things within our society. Uh, as you know that the community we are serving, uh, people who are at risk, and we, we are trying to make sure that they, we provide a platform or a net, uh, an environment where they can freely engage and have uh, access to different services that they will wish to. And then we're also able to educate our members also to know how to create spaces for themselves, because you know, as a space, you are an individual who are able to create a space for yourself and know how to interact yourself with those spaces. We anticipate to to actualize this uh, smart goal and uh, to actualize this smart goal one of the action points we'll be working around will include who are the stakeholders who are we going to work with and uh, working with stakeholders already Talent has provided a space where we can convene we have other organizations that are also part of this discussion like 
Kisumu Feminist Society, we had Chadala, Angaza Jami. So these are some of the organizations that are part of this process. So we'll be able to really know who are the stock other champions we'll be looking for, be it at the executive level, that is for policy development, the Department of Health, and also at the assembly level. We're also focusing on uh, undertaking campaigning campaign activities because one of the key advocacy goal is to also increase awareness the health literacy around the LGBTQI issues which most people are not aware of so we are able to also upscale our campaign activities in regards to LGBTQI and finally we'll be able to see if this change is possible and we can be able to uh, document this change who are some of the people who will be working with us these uh, processes but also as a team we are also developing a work plan and for this period in the month of October we are developing a quarterly work plan that will move from now October to December that will also inform some of these actions. Having listened to different uh, discussions here, I want to say this now that we are coming from the lake, that if you are a lizard in your home, you can't be a crocodile elsewhere. <laughs> you get it? Yes, yes, yes. I already see you are a crocodile because you have been able to influence uh, your inputs into the county health policy on HESA, sexual productive health and rights, and you're having struggles in other counties. Because you are crocodiles here, I would want you not to be lizards on the other counties. Please, the crocodiles there. <laughs> should maintain this they should always make sure that they they call the CEOs to come uh, under a discussion like this because this is one way of bringing people together this is one way of creating good relationship between you and other CEOs this is one way to also learn from other organizations the different things they are doing you know unity is power one voice cannot uh, reach a lot of people but different voices different energies can bring change and change starts with us so us means we come together and you know work towards achieving the goal yeah